We're gonna crack one open for this one, boys. Beer down the hatch, just kidding, I don't drink. Logan Paul has built a reputation off of some really controversial actions and, to be honest, is some <laughs> really erotic behavior. His critics highlight a lot of misjudgment, such as harassing individuals, crypto scams, fake boxing things, questionable business practices, manipulating his brand's image to look better than it really is, and even some alleged claims that he's filling his prime bottles with water to drink while on set. I went online the other day and I see this dude Ludwig um, um, preaching to his audience about how I don't actually drink Prime. In, in the box video, I walked in with a Prime. Obviously, it's a Mr. Beast video. It's gonna get 250 million views. I want people to see my product. Yeah, Bro, yeah. always plug. From day one, yeah, vlogs, I saw that. always plug. And uh, I drank the Prime in the first, you know, whatever, 30 minutes, hour, whatever. I remember. And uh, Jimmy's team was bringing water bottles to drink. That was yeah. what they brought us to drink. So my options were um, drink out of the water bottle and throw the Prime out or pour the water in the prime, so I at least am still marketing my product in a Mr. Beast video, but there's water inside. But it fits that Logan doesn't even drink his own product um, um, narrative perfectly, oh. and that people who hate me, evidently, oh, no. in one of the challenges, he admitted that he went to go cheat because it was the cookie challenge from Squid Games. <laughs> me, I just prefer a good Diet Coke. A red 40, really. Really does taste good. Also critically, he's talked about for very insensitive approaches to different cultures. The infamous video in Japan of the side forest and the individual from a tree. And recently he thinks the moon landing is fake as well. Gone. Bro, you told if, me last night we his, didn't land on the if, moon. Oh, oh, and then no, landers? No, I'm no, not on he, the opposite he, he side. Thinks we I did. fully believe what we do you think? on the fucking moon. Okay, okay, okay. Not only did we land on the moon, we did it a lot of times. No. Okay, to, to the point where it and despite his attempts to create a redemption arc and make himself look a lot better, many argue that his current conduct, marked by a defensive and sometimes hypocritical attitude, overshadow this. His personality comes across as attention-seeking with constant refutes to criticism, often diverting attention to less critical things and trying to talk about things that just literally aren't important, basically avoiding allegations against him for just about anything. Hey, before we even get into this video too far, I want to say very clearly, you should subscribe. It helps this channel a lot and it's completely free, but that's besides the point. Let's get back to it. This pattern of defensive deflection combined with his frequent presence in controversies contributes to an image that lacks authenticity for some audiences. These are elements that may contribute to some ongoing speculation about his personal character and professional choices, to specifically include his potential use of performance enhancing substances, which is exactly what we're going to be addressing in this video. So is a guy that went from this to this using steroids. I mean, are the steroid accusations really valid? <laughs> Which tweet? I know you're a troll on Twitter, but I have to ask about it. You said, <laughs> you said Logan is 100% on steroids. I would, I'm willing to bet. I think he's take. I think he's taking steroids. Yeah, yeah. I do 100%. I'm willing to bet that. I'd bet. I've always had my suspicions. What do you think? Do you think he is or he isn't? I think he has for sure, but I don't know if he is currently. Why would he not? Why would he not? If you know. Well, that's what I'm saying. It, he's it, like, he's like, he's looking in the mirror. He's in his bathroom and he's like, <laughs> fuck it. He's like, Dylan, I'm going to kill this fucking kid. He's like injecting his fuck. This clip actually got on Logan's nerves quite a bit, which I think is pretty sus in and of itself. No, just every day someone hits me up and they're like, so he's on juice, right? You didn't tell me. Oh, okay. I'm like, bro, I don't think I he saw, is. I saw, I saw Bradley was uh, <laughs> saying I was. Logan's? Dude, I know. I also think Logan's saucing it. Bro, we got to figure out that situation. He still There's won't no talk. no situation, bro. He won't talk. Yo, Brad. Shut the fuck up, no, bro. No, you got your ass beat, and no. I'll do it again. I'll do it again. It, it's shorter this time. Logan's the biggest I've ever seen him. He's definitely on steroids. Bro, I was 195 that Did day. You see the, he said, he said bro, he said you were like 230. Like he, I swear, I think he's like 230, 240. 230, 230 bro. about that. You've never publicly denied it. Yes, I have, and I'll deny it right now. Before Bradley wants to fight next time. Every day someone hits me up and they're like, Geez. While it is a really promising thought to think that someone could possibly change their body in just under a year from looking like this to the picture that I had just shown you. Oh, by the way, uh, this is uh, Bradley Martin. He's 260 pounds standing next to Logan at his biggest. That's not questionable for you. By the way, when I'm talking about promising, I'm not meaning like in a good way. I'm talking promisingly as in it creates an unrealistic reality that would be sick if it was true. And that is promising, but the actual fact 
fact of the matter is, is dude's probably juicing. In the realm of fitness influencing, you come across a lot of access media, you come across a lot of recognition, and certainly money-making potential. Your name begins to sell things, even if you aren't exclusively exposing yourself to that thing. If you're not actually marketing the product, as long as somebody mentions your name as an influencer, you make sales, or that company makes sales. Don't ask questions. Just consume product and then get excited for next product. Just look at Lunchly, a product which has been claimed to outperform Lunchables in sales. Which, if you didn't know, these mold-infested products are basically just a copy-paste format of Lunchables, the stuff you and I probably had as kids. I mean, people flocked to the stores to buy these things and then posted about it online as if it was this new, crazy idea. While again, it's just ultimately the same thing as Lunchables, just copy and paste it. Why did that happen well i mean it's very clear influencers make companies a lot of money and in and of themselves can make a lot of money a anyways what i'm saying is that that kind of access and preferential treatment will get you some bias or kind of <laughs> approval of things that other people wouldn't necessarily get because ultimately if you're getting to put your name on something that is going to make another company a million dollars to them that's really worth it and while if you know logan paul comes out with a drink or something named prime <laughs> Funny enough, we would maybe not buy it, this audience, but a lot of other people would because the man has multi-millions of followers. It's just inevitable that they're going to make a lot of net sales just from plastering his name on something. So he'll get those biased treatments from organizations like drug testing over at WADA, which has been uh, bought out before. If you don't remember, when uh, the Chinese government was under some big scrutiny from WADA due to some failed drug tests, they suddenly just disappeared. As well, you could probably get the best treatments from any local pharmacy in the world just because you are who you are. So why wouldn't you just just dip your feet in the water. Well, Logan has. And is it really that hard to stretch the imagination and think that someone with this disgusting track record, able to break the boundaries of morality, is simply not going to use everything that he possibly can to boost his self-image? I mean, we see very clear side effects of PED usage, hair loss being one of those things, but stretch marks being another very inherent one. And the goal with any influencer is to make their self-image make more sales, and those sales being the value of their character and ultimately the value of Logan's presence in the market, or to be honest, unfortunately, our world. Because after all, what is Logan Paul really outside of a large walking billboard? He gets paid to exist because his face is a brand and his name means something, but that is it. He doesn't do, he doesn't do anything really that valuable if you truly think about it. If his brand isn't appealing or radical or shocking, something that would garner attention, well, less money comes in, and especially more money going out once you've been living a certain lifestyle as an influencer. Once you start to live in a certain really gluttonous way, it becomes hard to step back or stop spending as much money. This is actually a true psychological disorder. And in a sense, it would make a requirement for Logan or just about anybody who's making a large sum of money being to do more to make more or at least sustain the rate of income. 50. And I think I think I'll be able to do it. I honestly think I'll be able to do it. Why? Peptides and stem cells. Yeah. Are you are you on stem cells? No, I'm are not on, on stem cells on or peptides. But You're not on either. No test. But, but no. A NAD plus. No. God damn. That, this surprise. Somadome. The only thing you, he's you, on you is strike me as a biohacker, not a somadomer. Yeah, the skin, but but the but, skin. but I'll tell you, it's like I do do my blood work every year. But but I. So wouldn't it be hard for me to believe that Logan would take the quote unquote peptides, which is an extremely huge, broad category of drugs, mind you. I mean, if you just look at our sponsors page, you can see that there are numerous compounds labeled as peptides. As Logan has said, he takes many, many times, which most of these are banned by WADA, the World Anti-Doping Agency. And if he just had to spend a couple bucks and get some consultations from some highly pharmaceutically driven people, why wouldn't you if he's going to make millions more on top of it? And if going this far to take some peptides, well, why not just take a little bit of testosterone and maybe throw some anivore on top? Could the hurt really be? So as you can see with the statements that I've shown, there's some serious flaws within Logan's character and his claim to say that he's not taking any steroids. Logically thinking, a process known as inductive reasoning could be used to determine that the man is probably lying. All you have to do is take his past behaviors, his statement, and specifically his goals, align them all together, and you come up with a pretty clear conclusion. You don't need to be competent within drug 
research or even believe that he's taking steroids. You could actually think that he is not taking steroids, but if you just objectively collect the data set that we're dealing with and the statements that he's made as well, again, as his behaviors, it would be pretty clear to piece together just about to anyone that he's probably using a bunch of stuff because he's verbally said it. Now, furthermore, what might he actually be taking? And I don't know about you, you might be new to this channel. So first, let me explain what are steroids, PEDs or HGH or growth hormone or peptides. Well, here's the cliff notes. Performance enhancing drugs or PEDs are substances that people use to improve their physical capabilities like building muscle, boosting energy and speeding recovery, really generic stuff. They're often used in sports and bodybuilding, giving athletes all kind of supernatural edges to everything. The typical stuff you would see is steroids. These mimic testosterone, helping build muscle and strength. And an example of this would be testosterone and anavar in and of themselves. However, there are many derivatives of testosterone that are used today, all changing a carbon chain of testosterone or its derivatives to create a unique effect in the human body. Some of these are administered orally that are 17 alkylated while others are injected. Now, the injectables are more preferable because sometimes they can be harder to detect in drug tests as well as they're likely healthier for the human body as they don't have to be metabolized by the liver. Other instances of this would be something like human growth hormone or HGH. While it's labeled as a hormone, it's actually a peptide which is completely different. A peptide is basically a short chain of amino acids that are the building blocks to the human body and a lot of other peptides. In the body, peptides help send signals between cells telling them what to do, like how to grow, heal, and produce energy, or what the smarties in here might recognize as ATP. Some people use synthetic or man-made peptides as a treatment or most likely enhancement to grow muscle, burn more fat, or generally improve recovery. If Logan Paul were to be using PEDs, which I'm quite sure he is, I think he'd be using something like testosterone, a little bit of Anivar in seasonal patterns when he actually needs to get on a WWE stage or actually fight someone like Mike Tyson. Or wait, that's not him. Is it the other one? I don't I don't know anymore. I'm just drinking my Diet Coke. Fuck you, bitch. Shut the fuck up. But this would help him build his performance specifically for performances as well as his physique, which did leverage him quite a lot of followership during the time he was posting about it. Now, the doses of these compounds vary heavily, somewhere around 90 to 140 milligrams being what is clinical TRT. I had someone comment that their doctor is giving them 200 milligrams or 250 milligrams of testosterone for TRT per week. Uh, they're likely going to a hormone replacement clinic, which is basically just an underground lab selling drugs legally because no doctor or endocrinologist would actually prescribe it because it's just not actually in the American index to, <laughs> to give people that much testosterone. A lot of the times when doctors give you that much, it is off labeled and also why athletes are getting better and better these days because they can do it under a legal premise. There's actually a huge debacle back in the 70s with baseball. I don't know if you guys remember this where a clinic was prescribing athletes <laughs> like a ton of testosterone. 250 milligrams actually was one of the quoted milligram doses and they got shut down pretty quickly and that went very bad and that's kind of why steroids are illegal now but besides the point i'm sure what logan is running is probably very conservative it's nothing going to be you know insane like a crazy cycle a bodybuilder would run but just enough to put a little bit more mass on him and keep his body composition a bit leaner and again i think they're conservative amounts through a cyclical pattern throughout the year. As you'll notice in recent pictures, his physique isn't nearly as inflated as it was in other pictures. Also, a really important fact here is that you'll notice his receding hairline was quite bad before he got a hair transplant. This is a, another thing you'll typically see with an excessive degree of androgens. Androgens, such as testosterone or the aforementioned Anavar play a key role in hair loss, especially in people who are genetically predispositioned to having hair loss. While testosterone is converted to DHT by an enzyme called 5 alpha reductase, DHT can bind to the receptors in hair follicles, particularly those on top of the scalp. Unfortunately, you just seem to grow more hair everywhere else but your scalp when you have large amounts of DHT in your blood. And in these sensitive follicles, DHT shrinks them and shortens the hair growth cycle, eventually causing the hair to grow grow thinner and weaker. Over time, this process can lead to the follicle closing off completely, resulting in permanent hair loss. We call this type of hair loss androgenic alopecia, and it is common in both men and women who are using accelerated amounts of androgens, performance enhancing drugs. And to be also very clear here, we have everyone and their mother calling out Logan for PEDs and fighters who are very well versed in fighting and have trained around some of the best fighting physiques ever. But ethically speaking, I don't blame Logan 
Logan for taking steroids. I don't think it's, you know, a bad thing. I think it's actually pretty understanding of what he values. I mean, like, if you told me I could 20x my income just by taking a couple hormones under professional guidance, quite frankly, yeah, I'm gonna fucking do that. But what do you think? Leave a comment down below to let me know. Also, for more pharmaceutical advice and bodybuilding and fitness stuff, we do have a Discord group down below. Super awesome place to be. It is paid, but it does help this channel directly, so it is an exclusive group, but that exclusivity comes with some big perks. I'll see you in the next video.